Former New York City Mayor Rudy Giuliani was hilariously mocked on social media after taking a bit of a tumble at the RNC. <laughs> Look, of course he's okay. Maybe he's got some bruised pride, but otherwise seems to be totally fine. I think he later on had an interview with uh, Jane Heger, Young Turks, and, and Anna Kasparian. Uh, and so it, to totally fine, totally fine, right? Now, that said, he may be fine physically, uh, but mentally probably not doing so well since, you know, Giuliani's bankruptcy case was dismissed on Friday, which means the two Georgia election workers that he had defamed for months are now clear to collect millions of dollars from him. He owes them a total of $148 million. So that's, that's a lot of money. Uh, in fact, in a filing during that bankruptcy case, Giuliani's creditors wrote this, quote, since day one, Giuliani has regarded this case in the bankruptcy process as a joke, hiding behind the facade of an elderly, doddering man who cannot even remember the address for a second multi-million dollar home and claims impending homelessness if he must sell that second multi-million dollar home. In reality, Giuliani has treated this court, the bankruptcy process, and the committee the same way he treated the D.C. District Court and the Freeman plaintiffs in the Freeman litigation, with utter disrespect and without accountability. Mm. Now, I think both of those things can be true, uh, Giuliani being a doddering old drunk, and also abusing the bankruptcy process to try to hide his money. Again, no reason both can't be true. Uh, now, following the dismissal, Ted Goodman, a spokesman for Giuliani, told Raw Story in a statement that he was denied the ability to appeal the judgment, which he called grossly unfair. Mm, grossly unfair. Wait, wait, wait. What, what's unfair about you defaming two women for years, uh, you know, basically claiming that they were uh, doing election fraud, uh, playing into this narrative of election conspiracy theories, which, again, wasn't true, provably false, and even after being proven to be false, you continued with that narrative, exposing these women, of course, to uh, threats from unhinged MAGA supporters. I, I would think that that's more unfair, which is why, and by the way, that's, that's, what, uh, that's what the court agreed, that it was unfair, and that's why you were awarded, or they were awarded $148 million. <laughs> so uh, that said, Goodman said the whole bankruptcy case was burdened with many of the same voluminous and overly broad discovery requests mm. and other actions, including regular leaks of information intended to harm the mayor and destroy his businesses. Mm. Now, uh, let me tell you who destroyed Giuliani's business. That would be Rudy Giuliani, <laughs> who even knowing, again, that he was spreading falsehoods against these two election workers, continued to do it. You know why? Because that's what his audience wanted to hear. That's what Donald Trump wanted to hear. The same Donald Trump that owes him $2 million for unpaid legal work. Guess what? Giuliani, he ain't never going to get that money. It, it is really interesting, though, to see just this long-term slow-motion wreck, right? That is Giuliani. The fall of America's so-called America's mayor both in a figurative and now in a literal sense. <laughs> in fact, uh, one user on Twitter quoted The Godfather Part Two, saying, the old man had too much wine. Yes, he did. Uh, another said, looks like drunk Uncle Rudy is at it again. <laughs> Tripping over his own feet. <laughs> uh, another uh, said, I'm going to need to see these photos immediately. And, and uh, by the way, I, I think uh, they're referring to Giuliani holding a camera at the same time. So uh, another said, did somebody, uh, did someone whisper to Rudy Giuliani that his buddy Guo Wenguai was convicted? Hmm, yes. Uh, another says, is he drunk? Did he spill his drink though? And the last one probably saw a dollar bill. Well, I mean, he is pretty hard up for cash at this point. Uh, <laughs> gotta love it. Uh, and by the way, speaking of balls, since we're on the subject, just look at the RNC now. I mean, it's a complete and utter joke. It's even worse now than it used to be, and it was bad. We went from 
Clint Eastwood yelling at empty chairs to Rudy Giuliani literally just crashing into him. <laughs> the, the RNC is absolutely wild. Thank you for watching. If you enjoyed this video, please like, share, subscribe, hit the bell icon in order to get notified whenever a new video is released. And if you want to support independent, progressive media through this difficult time where it seems like everybody is shut down, you can become a member on our YouTube page, you can become a subscriber on Facebook, or you can go to my Patreon. It's patreon.com slash Jeff Waldorf. Thank you.